The jet nebulizers generally work by jetting two to 10 liters per minute of pressurized gas through a small opening, which ultimately aerosolizes the solution into small particles that become entrained in a gas stream inhaled by the patient. The three main types of jet nebulizers include standard jet nebulizers with either a T-piece, like this one, or an aerosol collection bag that we don't have here. A breath-enhanced jet nebulizer, such as these two, and a breath-actuated jet nebulizer, such as this one. Before assembling any nebulizer, it's important to wash your hands thoroughly with soap and water. Then set out all of the pieces of the nebulizer system, which include a mouthpiece or a mask, the actual nebulizer part with the medication cup and cover, the tubing, and the air source, such as a compressor like one of these two. All nebulizers must be cleaned and assembled prior to using them. The parts that need to be cleaned include the nebulizer part with the medication cup and cover and the mouthpiece, but do not ever wash or submerge the inside of the tubing or any portion of the air source. To use any of the nebulizer systems, you're gonna hold the nebulizer in one hand upright, use the other hand to loosen the top of the nebulizer and set it aside on a clean surface. You're gonna open the prescribed medication carefully so you don't spill any of the medicine. You're gonna hold the cup in one hand and squirt the medication into the nebulizer medication cup. Then you're gonna replace the top by twisting or snapping it onto the bottom area, holding the medication. Be sure you don't lie this section on the table or tip it because the medication may likely spill out and you won't receive your full dose. Some nebulizers have corrugated tubing and a T-piece that must be assembled Others, though, are self-contained and do not need to be assembled separately. You want to then attach the mouthpiece or mask to the nebulizer. You want to connect one end of the plastic tubing to an air source, compressor or flow meter, and the other end to the bottom of the nebulizer. Again, being careful not to tip or spill the medicine. You want to turn on the compressor or start the airflow by setting the flow meter between six and eight liters per minute. Once you see the mist, you start, need to start breathing through your mouth or mouthpiece or mask. Most nebulizers and instructions recommend taking intermittent deep breaths, then breathing normally between these deep inhalations. Once your nebulizer begins to make a sputtering noise, most of your medications should be gone from the cup and your treatment is complete. A treatment usually takes about 15 to 20 minutes. Once complete, remove the mouthpiece from your mouth, turn off the air source, and take the nebulizer apart. You want to rinse the mouthpiece and the medication cup and allow it to air dry before you use it again. In general, the standard jet nebulizers deliver only about 10 to 20 percent of the aerosol to the patient because much of the medication escapes into the air. The breath-enhanced nebulizers use two one-way valves to prevent loss of aerosol to the environment. The patient's breathing is controlled by the output rate. When the patient inhales, the inspiratory valve opens and the gas vents through the nebulizer. Exhaled gas passes through an expiratory valve and some medication is exhaled back into the nebulizer to be inhaled with future breaths. Breath actuated nebulizers increase aerosol drug delivery by generating aerosol only during inspiration, thereby reducing the overall loss of medication during expiration.